in the last video we have seen that how we can work with uh, perspective and uh, in this video we will learn about translations in SSAS tabular model so for um, what is the translation the language for this model is English and uh, if we want to translate this model for another language for example German then uh, how to to make a model so that uh, we can get all the like columns uh, table name in German language so for this we have to click extensions and uh, then we have to click translations manage translations and uh, here we have to choose the language for example German so this language and then we have to click here the translation in the model so we need to select this one and export selected languages and then we have to choose here like uh, temp files this is the folder and here is the German then the name of the file will be uh, like German translations and the type is JSON files so when you save it and uh, now we can open this file in the Visual Studio click file open and so this is the JSON file that we have created so here you can see we are having different uh, tables and uh, their underlying columns we need to scroll it a little bit so that uh, we can get the required location so here you can see the name of the culture is is de dash de this is a german and uh, then this is the model and here is here you can see customer right this is the name of the table and uh, the translated hey here, here you can see we are getting translated caption and translated description these two fields you can see with every table and every columns right so let's change something uh, for the customer we can write here uh, in the in, in german the customer is translated into this kunde and uh, here you can write anything like uh, german translation about table about customer this one so it's up to you if you can write anything or not and uh, then we can for example for the first name this is called uh, for name and here you can again write for name translation and uh, then the the last name is Nachname this one and the here you can write like a translation about last name right so it's up to you you can write any description here but here you need to correctly translate the items like column name or the the name of the table that uh, the user will see in the in the model so that's all we need to save it and close right so here we have to click extensions models and then we have to click the translations then we need to import the translation that we have created browse so this is the german translation json file that we have saved open and uh, here are some options override the existing translation you can write you can check this value ignore invalid objects and uh, if you need to generate log file write import results into log file and backup translation you can check these two okay we can click the 
the first option and import import successfully and then we we can save it and deploy this model to deploy and here we need to copy the, the server name analysis services click ok tabular model you can choose any either perspective or the model so see the customer name the table is not changed and uh, the for name the last name name is there so it means we are not able to fetch the same uh, translation in the power bi desktop maybe this is not uh, implemented by, by the microsoft um, but we have here there is another option in the in the Visual Studio that is analyze in Excel. If you click here, and uh, there is there you can see we can choose here we can choose different uh, perspective here, and here you can choose culture. The culture the second culture is German. Click OK, and uh, here you can see these are the different tables. And uh, here you can see this is the name of the customer table that that we have written Kunde and uh, you can see here the last name and first name for name and nach name so here you can see this is the first name it is also translated for name and uh, and then the uh, name started with N. This is Nachname. Right? So here you can see these are the uh, names, the like the, the forename, like the, the first name, and uh, this one is the, is the second name. Right? So this is how we have uh, translated English into German. And we have seen the the result in Excel file. So that's all about uh, translation in tabular model. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you.